Assalamu alaikum. I welcome all of you to the uh, lecture series of on organic synthesis. Today we will be discussing uh, synthesis of carbenes. As you know that carbenes are reactive intermediates. They are very much important synth uh, synthetic point of view and uh, it helps uh, a lot in synth synthesizing very complicated uh, molecules or it can help us uh, to synthesize very strand rings in mega or large molecules. So uh, I will be discussing some uh, methods that uh, how carbenes are synthesized. Uh, as there are a large number of methods but we will be discussing a few of them and some of them are very much important that's why I have selected them. So our carbenes they can be uh, they can be synthesized uh, through the following uh, methods. Number one it can be synthesized from diazo compounds these are diazo compounds just like This is a diazo compound and it can also lead to the synthesis of carbenes. Number second, uh, it can be synthesized from ketenes. Look at them, both the structures are almost very similar. It can also be uh, there is a, uh, another method through which these uh, uh, carbenes can be synthesized and they are by alpha elimination there is another method through which these alkenes, uh, sorry, these carbenes can be synthesized and uh, 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 it is the strand rings, these strand rings can be utilized to produce the carbene as well. So we will be discussing each of them one by one. So let us move toward the first one from diazo compounds. These diazo compounds, this is diazo methane. So uh, when this diazo methane is heated, it can produce the carbene. But there is some problems with the diazo methane. It is very much uh, toxic and uh, at very high concentration, this thing becomes explosive too. So but anyhow, it can be used to, uh, it can be utilized to produce the reactive intermediate carbene. So how it works, look at this, it has an other resonance form that will make you understand that how carbenes are produced, look at this thing. This is the resonance form. So when this uh, diazomethane it is heated it produces the carbene how just like this is the simple reaction when it is heated or even exposed to the light it will produce carbene and liberate uh, nitrogen. So as you see this above resonance form that how it is produced, first of all we should uh, know that nitrogen is an extremely extremely good living group or one of the best 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 living group. It can even uh, live from very very uh, unexpected places in a molecule. So as you see this form of the, uh, the molecule when it is heated the, this nitrogen leaves and it left behind what a carbene 
Look at this. This thing is uh, this uh, this molecule. This CH2 is negatively charged. The carbon is negatively charged. But after leaving, uh, after the bonding electron leaves with the nitrogen, it should rendered positive. But it's also uh, almost negative. So positive and negative add together and produced a neutral carbon. So this is one method, which is which uh, they have utilized to synthesize uh, the carbon. But there is another alternative. Another type of diazo compound is there. Again, it's that diazo type of compound. But this time, this molecule, it is not explosive, just like this diazo methane, and it's not very much toxic, so it is very easy to be handled in the lab, and its handling is a problem, so nowadays people are not synthesizing carbenes by utilizing this uh, above reaction, so this is more helpful. It again, when this thing is exposed to light or heated, it produces a carbene. So now, the, the, this carbene, it is resonance stabilized a sort of. It can do a sort of resonance with this carbonyl compound. And that's why it's said to be a bit stabilized. The difference between the carbon and the carbocation is that that carbocation, sorry, carbonyl is that, that the carbonyl, if it were a carbonyl, it could do a resonance as well. But you should know that that would have three valencies and a negative charge. This thing is neutral and it becomes positive, okay? And that's why it's a little bit stabilized uh, carbon and it can be produced from this diazo compound. How it is produced? It's just like the above method. If you want to look at it, just look at the above method. It's simple, just repeat the above step. This thing becomes negative. Now, but this time this negative is more stabilized by a resonance. That's why it's very good molecule to produce a carbon. When this left both the bonding electrons, when it's left with the nitrogen, a carbon is left behind. So this is a, a method for, uh, by utilizing uh, diazo compounds and producing the carbon. There are other methods too. As I told you, so the driving force for the above reaction was uh, production of nitrogen because nitrogen was very stable, nitrogen is very stable molecule and it was produced, therefore, the carbon could be formed. It would be clear right now by seeing this reaction. This is called ketene and when it, this thing is exposed to a light or heated, it can also produce a carbene plus a carbon monoxide. So how it is produced, the carbon monoxide, how this uh, carbon monoxide is produced, it's the same just like uh, the carbene type of reaction, uh, so the diazo type of compounds can, could produce the carbene and same uh, are those compounds which these also produced uh, the carbene in the same way, but here they have oxygen. This oxygen comes here, this is another resonance form of this uh, ketene. As you see it, now Look at this, this thing become positive and it leaves, okay? And left behind a carbene plus carbon monoxide. 
and now the driving force for this reaction is the formation of the carbon monoxide because this this is extremely unstable species and it would be quite difficult to produce uh, this type uh, this species uh, with uh, moderate heating but just because of a stable molecule formation the carbon monoxide formation it is produced therefore the CH2 uh, is produced and uh, this uh, thermodynamically this reaction is very much feasible but the feasibility is just due to the car uh, carbon monoxide now coming to the other method which is the most uh, famous method and many uh, people know, many students uh, know about it, carbon tetrachloride or you can say that uh, it's a chloroform when uh, this chloroform is treated with a base sodium hydroxide or mostly potassium hydroxide it also yields a carbene but this time dihalo carbene is produced along with H2O and NaCl now look at this reaction as you see that sodium hydroxide okay it's a base it's but it's not very much strong base it uh, it, it lies a little bit above the moderate basis in strength so this hydrogen as you see this hydrogen is very much acidic reasons being the three electron withdrawing groups are uh, have negative inductive effect on the carbon so it renders this partially positive and the hydroxyl group it can abstract this proton but after abstraction of this proton it produces CCl, Cl and Cl a carbonine again this carbonine why this carbonine is produced this carbonine itself is very much stable because uh, it's also not very much stable it's uh, quite stable because the three, uh, three electronegative groups are rendering the carbon electro positive and now this uh, negative charge is more stabilized just because of the negative uh, inductive effect of the three chlorine atom but as these chlorines are chlorides are very good living group too so this intermediate the carbonyl inter intermediate again uh, uh, produced another intermediate that's called the carbene by relieving one of the chlorine one of the chloride chlorine is relieved as a chloride ion minus chloride ion and the uh, dichloro or dihalo carbene is produced so this is one of the method uh, of alpha elimination th th through which the carbene is produced there are other methods too again if there is a molecule suppose this is a molecule and it has two bromine present in it two sorry bromide are present in this molecule now if we want to create uh, alkene or sorry carbene in the same way uh, by utilizing or, uh, or using a very weak type of base weak or moderate base just like sodium hydroxide what will happen it could cause the beta elimination instead now what would uh, how would uh, what would occur this OH it will remove the bromine the bromide and bromine as a bromide or HBr and an alkene is produced 
but what about what if a strong base just like butyl lithium or only lithium molecule is used then it can lead to the uh, formation of the carbene how I am going to explain it it's the same molecule now let's redraw that molecule to this may okay this is dry bromo molecule now if it is treated with only lithium in diethyl ether it can again lead to uh, carbene it can produce it can also produce a carbene uh, 3 and this is the 4 one hydrogen this carbene can be produced how it is produced as we know that uh, lithium lithium is electropositive element or uh, metal and it can uh, donate electrons and as this is the carbon and bromine this bond has a very low sigma star as the bromine molecule is very big so it has very low energy sigma star that the lithium electron can uh, goes into it and break the bond very easily so what, what would happen this lithium it can give electrons and will itself be lithium positive okay so what uh, here what would happen the lithium donates some electrons to the CBR bond just like this this is lithium it donated one electron here and another molecule it donated another electron here what would happen the bromine will live with an uh, the, the, the bromide, bromine will live as a bromide and the bond is broken down this is called as this is the bromine and it's the hydrogen and it has a negative charge plus lithium bromide and as you know that the other lithium uh, will be here it also forms a covalent type of bond with the carbon so it can be shown either they like this or with a covalent bond but for to make you understand uh, I have written that in an ionic form but originally it is just a covalent type of bond okay so what I think will happen again now this bromine leaves as this bromine leaves now this as the bromine leaves as bromide ion now this thing which was first uh, negatively charged become neutral and lithium will not stuck with the neutral thing so along with the bromide ion the lithium will also go out and it is produced this carbene is produced plus another molecules of lithium bromide this same alpha elimination can be achieved by lithium by butyl lithium which will exchange the halogen and lithium with each other suppose a very strong base like butyl lithium is used it might seem it may seem a little bit different to you people but this butyl as you know that suppose this butyl it's negative it's negatively charged and it's partial positive one two three four so it can attract and it can produce this thing how it is can produce this I am going to explain it to you so here it will acquire a negative charge and lithium will stuck now to this thing okay you can write it like ionic or this thing after some time this will leave and along with this uh, the lithium will again leave because lithium has no chance to stuck stick together with it so this is called as the halogen and lithium exchange reaction there is again another method also uh, which can be used just like suppose 
if sodium salt of carboxylic acid is used now a mild heat can produce uh, can produce a carbene uh, or halo carbene from this and this is very easy this, this reaction is very good reaction because here not a, st uh, a strong base is not used only a mild heat can do this reaction in the previous reactions as you saw that uh, moderate base just like sodium hydroxide was used and also a butyl lithium or alkyl lithium it uh, was also used and that alkyl lithium uh, or uh, metal uh, or, or metal carbonines, they are extremely strong bases. So uh, that reaction that, that reaction was not very much good. And this is the best reaction because you can achieve this by just removing the carbon dioxide from it. And see, again another intermediate is produced, and this intermediate would loss. Lo uh, we lose uh, a chloride ion and our dihalocarbene is produced very easily. Why I said that the previous reactions utilizes the bases that were not good? The reason was that, that if you were doing any reaction because the carbene, because these carbenes are produced in situ, in situ mean they are produced in the same uh, round bottom flask or beaker or whatsoever um, or the reaction mixture and in that same reaction mixture your substrate uh, which you want to react with the carbene is also present if you have some functional acids uh, best sensitive functionality is present in that substrate and you want to produce algae carbene in uh, by uh, utilizing very strong basic methods alpha hallucination methods then that would also the best will uh, the best the best can also destroy your substrate too. That's why uh, mild methods are very much good and this is again a mild method. The method with ketene is mild one. Diazomethane is um, uh, diazo compound method is also a mild method. It's not that much uh, st utilizing uh, harsh conditions. Uh, in uh, diazo compound the diazomethane is not good because it's toxic but the other derivatives of diazomethane that is a very good uh, reaction to synthesize the uh, carbenes. The other methods are strand rings methods. Just like this is a strand ring, three member ring of course is a strand ring. Suppose it has two phenyls, it could be cis or trans. If it is exposed to light or light shine on this molecule, what happens? Again, a carbene is produced. This time, how this, how, which carbene is produced? This is phenyl hydride. This carbene is produced plus H C double mono H and aldehyde. How it is produced? It's very it's very simple reaction because it's a concerted type of reaction. And what will happen? As you see, that this bond breaks. These electrons come there, so this bond becomes double and this will come to this thing and a carbene is produced. Another, if, uh, another strand ring uh, can, uh, can be utilized to produce, to produce uh, the carbene. This is another method. Again, the same type of the method or the same thing like here. It will go here and it will come there and you have two molecules produced a uh, difluorocarbene plus this thing now let's conclude the thing that carbene can be produced from the diazo compounds uh, um, apart or excluding the diazomethane, the other diazo compounds can produce very good uh, uh, carbene. Good from good carbene, I mean that in a milder condition, it can produce the carbene. The carboxylic acid salt uh, uh, substituted 
uh, with you know, three halogens it can produce in under milder conditions. The alpha halogenation uh, in which sodium hydroxide is used just, just like in uh, chloroform that's a little bit milder condition. It's not very harsh or not very mild but it's a moderate condition it can produce very good uh, yield of carbene and that reaction can be utilized practically. Uh, from ketene the alkene the carbene can be produced very easily. So all these methods and these rings they can produce the carbene uh, a little bit uh, under a little bit uh, softer condition. Even light or heat can produce both uh, heat can be also used instead of light to produce those carbenes.